Good morning all. Our today's topic is natural pathogenesis. What is pathogenesis? It is the ability to develop an embryo without spermatic contribution. So that means we can develop an embryo without a sperm. There is no need of a male for the development of the embryo. So it is the development of viable offspring from unfertilized eggs. The eggs are not fertilized uh, by a male and that eggs develop to become an adult and that is called as pathogenesis. The individuals that are formed by pathogenesis means in, through these methods are called as pathnotes. Pathogenesis is of two types, natural and artificial pathogenesis. Here we can see an example of a natural pathogenesis which is called incomplete cyclical or facultative. So uh, as we said it is a type of natural pathogenesis. It is a sexual generation or generations alternate with pathogenic generation. Uh, we can see an example here that in aphids and some insects in females reproduce pathogenically during the summer when food is abundant. At the end of the season, a generation of males and females develops and reproduce asexually. The fertilized egg from this generation over winter and develop into females during the next, next spring. Thank you and have a nice day. That's all for today's pathogenesis class.